Hello, everybody, and welcome to the newest iteration of Vintage Cube. Let's see how this goes. They uh, they brought Storm back. That's exciting. Uh, I haven't played the cube in a while, so we'll see what else has changed. Pick one here. We got a couple of fetch lands, which is not bad. Mana Drain, though, is standing out to me. There's Dream Holes, which I know they recently added, and this is a cool card for sure, but I don't think it's the first pickable card. Uh, and then we got at the very bottom here a Voldar and Epicure, not too exciting. So for me, it's been Grief and Mana Drain, I think. The fetch lands are obviously good. I like fetch lands, but I think this is better. I think Mana Drain's probably the stronger of those, but I could, I could see that not being the case. That to deck. Just messing with the settings a little bit here. Let me make these cards much bigger. He's just a touch smaller, and then increase the space here. We'll we'll see how things look. Uh, I reinstall magic, so some of my settings got moved around a bit. Anyway, what do we got here? Tinker is a clear standout to me. Uh, obviously. A really powerful card if you can get it going. Uh, no reason to go out of blue for sure. I mean, we could take Jace or Chromo Seed Shark. Those are both good. Again, there's a Fetch Land, which is nice, but really getting an early Tinker, I don't see any reason to not just grab that and see what we can make happen. So let's do it. Let's grab a Tinker. All right. Well, there's a Blight Steel, which is certainly a solid Tinker target, but not like the best ever. Uh, I like miscalculation. I don't know this three steps ahead. I haven't played Thunder Junction, so I'm going to be reading all the Thunder Junction cards. You'll have to forgive me. What is this? Uh, it can be a cancel. It can be a clone, or it can be a draw to discard one, or if you have a lot of mana, you can combine some of these things. That seems fine. It's definitely worse than miscalculation. And... Um, yeah, I kind of want to try to wield this Blight Steel. I don't know, maybe that's crazy. I don't know if people are going to take it really highly or anything, but it's just, if this was Portal to Phyrexia, I would slam it, but Blight Steel Colossus, like, only on all right target. I'd rather have a Miscalc and just be in good shape for interaction here. Uh, Upheaval is interesting. And Tombs are a really powerful card. I can certainly see taking that. Fourth Pick and Tomb is a bit of a signal. Or spellbomb with no art for some reason. Through the breach is interesting. Upheaval could be good if we get there on the artifact stuff. We have lots of artifacts to give us mana, and upheaval's good, but we're not there yet, so upheaval is not that exciting to me. What is this caustic bronco thing? It's a 2 2, and then, right, we're seeing this one in the changes. It, like, it's a weird dark confident that you have to attack with. It's fine, nothing special. I think I'm just going to take the Entomb and we'll see if we can make something happen on the reanimator front. And here's a Shallow Grave, perfectly fine follow up. Uh, let me just read this card. Let me reserve the Shallow Grave and then we'll read this enormous card. Uh, exiles a, th a creature when it comes to play. Okay. It's an equipment when it becomes attached to a creature. That creature becomes a copy of the card exile. That's a really cool card, actually. So it's kind of a it's a clone equipment. I like that. The Shauna's Tidebinder is also a really powerful card. Uh, Frantic Search could be good, but yeah, for now we'll just take Shallow Grave. And you know, this Tinker Plan probably won't end up panning out, although it still might. But we have a good start to reanimator deck here with the Tomb Shallow Grave and then Mana Drain Miss Calc are just excellent interactive cards, so can't complain about that. All right, so we have Bone Shards, which does let me discard, which is fine. Uh, LED is a powerful magic card, but other than being Tinker Fuel, it doesn't do that much. Cryptico is good, just in general. I don't think I care about Talisman Creativity very much. Probe is obviously excellent. I haven't gotten to play with the code. I don't know. This doesn't necessarily seem like the thing we want to be doing, though. I think I'll just take Bone Shards, have a piece of interaction. That can also help with the reanimation stuff. Okay, now we're looking a little bit crappier, but I think I'll just take Toxic Deluge here and really shore up the creature matchup here. We'll have uh, the Bone Shards for some spot removal and then Nice Wrath. You can take Gruff Triplets, that's a fine one to reanimate, though it's not that good with uh, Shallow Grave, it just leaves you behind with some 3-3s, not really that exciting. 
Uh, I don't care about any of the rest of these cards, I don't think. Blue's not really flowing, but it's cube, so you can kind of go blue regardless. But it feels like blue's being cut, so we'll, we'll have to maybe pick up some blue cards on the other side, or uh, who knows, maybe we'll get into something else. All right, Tenacious Underdogs never impressed me very much. Mystic's Mastery is kind of a Dream Halls type thing as well. I mean, we do have a Tomb. I might spec on the Mix's Mastery because the other thing's like Peat Land or something, which is not that exciting. Let's let's take this on spec. Maybe we get there on some weird combination of things. Uh, Metamorph's all right. Obviously, it can copy things. We don't currently have any creatures in the deck, which is worse. Uh, I can think of Voldar and Epicure. Making a blood token is kind of nice for reanimation type things. Namesticker Goblin's okay as well. This one's all right. That's another color. I think I'll take Metamorph. I'm not too psyched about it, but here we are. Now I guess I'll take a Graveyard Trespasser as just a generic card we can throw on our deck. It looks like we're in black. Black looks pretty open. I don't think I want a Grim Lava Mancer. I don't think I want a Shallow Grave, a Crater of Behemoth, even though we don't have any more creatures. So let's take this. I will put the Stinker in the sideboard for now. We haven't gotten any artifacts, so it doesn't look like it's really going to do anything. I think I can think of Battle Ball. Again, not really a combo with Shallow Grave. So maybe I'll just take Inquisition. Good card. Gives us some interaction early. Okay, the Upheaval Wield. That being said, this doesn't look like a good Upheaval deck. We don't have any way to generate mana, which is the thing you want with that. Utopia Sprawl. I don't expect to be green, but maybe... I guess I'll take Aether Spellbomb. Maybe the Tinker gets back in. Okay, I will take a Frantic Search. That's a really good uh, Shallow Grave and stuff combo, so... Let's do that. The uh the Blight Seal didn't wheel, which is interesting. Well, that's a late Gitaxing Pro. We'll definitely be taking that. I'm surprised to see this, honestly. This card can go in literally any deck. All right, well, there's a Gruff Triplets. If we get some uh permanent reanimation, maybe I'll consider playing that, but as a shallow grave target is pretty bad. That said, we have an Archon of Cruelty here, which I'm probably gonna take. I don't see any power or anything. And this thing's excellent to shallow grave, and then if we get other types of reanimation, it's also good with that. Kozilek, good with Shallow Grave, obviously Annihilator is nice, but it's not even clear it's that much better than Archon if it is better. I mean, this makes them sack two things and discard some cards and drain some life and you draw cards. It's probably honestly better than Attack with Kozilek. And of course, Kozilek can't uh, be used with any real anima reanimation, so uh, we'll definitely be taking the Archon here. The Show and Tell Wheels, maybe we consider that one. Blood Crypt could be nice if we end up splashing some red cards, but yeah, take the Archon. What do we have here? We have a Death. That's obviously a good one. Uh, we have a Preordain, which I'm a big fan of. Zagoth Triome and Mox Diamond are both looking nice as well. Uh, I'd obviously rather have a blue black land than this Triome here, but it's all right. Um, yeah, so it's between Mox Diamond just because speed's always good, Death because we need more reanimation, and then I guess Preordain is really solid card selection. How badly do I need Mox Diamond? My deck's pretty cheap, so it might not be as necessary. Like, we're playing a lot of one and two mana cards. I don't really have card draw exactly, so this, there's, there's not a lot of ways to make this up. I think I have to take Death. I might regret this if I end up seeing a lot of reanimation later, but... Having an extra reanimation spell, I think, will go a long way in this deck, so. Let's do that. Again, that gives uh, the Gruff Triplets maybe some potential to get in there. All right, what is this thing? When there's a battle for draw a card, you have the maximum hand size. If you've drawn more than one card this turn, put some counters on it. That does not seem like a thing we're doing. Jace is fine. Can't go wrong with Jace. Uh, Bayou doesn't really help us. Serum Visions is also decent. And I don't think we're a Yogwell deck. Collective Brutality is just fine. It is a way to discard, but we did pick up Frantic Search and Bone Shards, and we already have the Entomb, so I'm not that worried about that part. So it's really between Jace and Serum Visions. I, I will take Jace. It's not, 
It's not what it used to be, but you know, it's still not a bad card at all. Ooh, all right. Mana leak I'm quite excited about. I think I'll be slamming that. If this volcanic was a blue black land, I'd be a lot more interested in that. Um Valky, not really that exciting. There was a bring to light in the last pack, but we're not really we have no lands yet to splash with, so. Yeah, I think it's hard to go wrong with mana leak. Ancient Tomb wouldn't be bad, but again, our deck is a lot of cheaper cards here, so. Let's do this. There's a flash. Oh, there's a new Oko. What's this one do? I'm probably thinking Delta. Let me just reserve that and then it's Oko real quick. When you have a combat on your turn, becomes a copy of a creature you control, except it has hex proof. Draw two cards if you can make a crime, discard. Otherwise, discard two, make an elk. Okay. I suspect this is good, but again, not really. The thing we're after. There's a flash here. Can take that. We have the Griff triplets already, and there was a World Spine Worm floating around. It is decent with Griff triplets. Uh, hmm. I don't need tutors or anything. I think I need the Delta. So let me grab that, but I, I could be wrong on that one for sure. Oh, there's a troll. I'm interested in that for sure. What is this, Jay's? Two mana, three. Two mana three loyalty. You can't cast the spell during the first couple turns. Okay, draws and discards. It's good. Exile a thing from your hand. It becomes plotted. Okay. Or if you cast a spell, copy it. You may choose into Yeah. The ultimates usually don't matter. So it's a looter, which is like fine. It has a three three. Discard your hand, then investigate four times. And then it's it bigger. I think I'm just going to take Troll here. We don't have a thing for it to fetch yet, but hopefully we'll find one. And even if it just gets swamps, it's still good to reanimate and stuff, so I like that. Uh, Dark Confidant could be okay. I mean, so far we only have Archon as an expensive thing. I'm hoping to find a few more expensive things, but it is obviously powerful. Uh, Revoker is just fine. Not really a Yawgmoth deck. Fiery Islet, not looking like I'm splashing you red. I could take Borrower. Borrower is a fine little interactive spell. Especially with a bunch of counter spells, it can be good. I think I'll just do that. Fine. Ooh, Aquapockle's fun. Um, obviously not for us. Didn't get there on the artifact stuff, but... Fun card. Tendril's not really doing anything for us. I might take Scholar if we can somehow splash this card. It's alright. Is this look at the top X of your library X twice the number of lands you control, put one of them in your hand, or the bottom. Okay, that's not that good. So open this set into the graveyard, that would be a lot better. Yeah, I don't expect to play any of these cards. I'll just call her, I guess. Okay, here we have a Kozilek, which again is a combo with Shallow Grave, is not a combo with death, so. Uh there's Larcenist, which is a fine interaction. Interactive card, though it is bad with Toxic Deluge. It's the Brink to Light, which we could try to splash for that Valky creature instant sorcery. Hmm. I think I'll just take the Larcenist. I don't know if I'll main deck it, but it's fine. This is the World's Fine Worm. I don't think that Flash is going to wheel. If it does, I'll feel kind of silly. I guess I could take this. It works with Shallow Grave, kind of, but not really. I don't super want to death it for 11 life. I think I'd rather have Virtue or the Mastermind. I'll just take Virtue. It's a fine little spell. Uh, this still doesn't do anything. This is just draw you a card when enters, I guess. But the second part of it just doesn't do anything for me. So I don't know, I'll take a Yogwill randomly. It doesn't really matter. There's the Valky and a Fatal Push and a Time Warp. Not really a Time Warp deck. We're not going to have much of a board presence if we animate something. And Valky, since we can grab the Ring to Light, doesn't do a ton for us, so I'll just take the Fatal Push. Uh, I guess I will take Volus. So I do have that Tinker sitting around, so... Ooh. I will actually try out Chase. I'll just out of here. So we're still looking for more fixing. We could use more targets for our reanimates. Uh, we could use a Mox Sapphire, I'll tell you that much, so we'll definitely reserve that one. Try to read a few of these other cards. Spree, mill four cards, put some into your hand. Your creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield. Oh, that's fun. 
Uh, and some okay, nonsense. Gris is really good. I would love it if this thing wheeled. Caress is great. Thopter Foundry not really happening for us, though if we saw uh, the other part of the combo, maybe we could remember that this is here. Uh, True Name is obviously never a ter terrible card, but yeah, we'll be obviously taking the mocks here. Get ourselves up a piece of power. Uh, this could be a good Imperial Seal deck. I don't love the card in general, but... There's a battlefield. Other creatures get minus two, minus two. Five mana, five, four minus. <clears throat> you can discard as a small removal spell. That's actually not bad. Again, I don't think it's quite what we want. This is... Uh, lost my train of thought. Imperial Seal, yes. That's the card I think we want. Malcolm's also reasonable. So it is between those two. I think... Surveil Land. I think Imperial Seal is going to be good in this deck. We have Entomb, plus Reanimates. Especially since we're short on targets, that might end up being a pretty big deal. So. Yeah, there's Gorio's Vengeance. Unfortunately, we don't have a Legend, so it doesn't work. I think I'm going to have to take Vampiric Tutor here. Just a better Imperial Seal. Now I maybe wish I hadn't uh, taken the, the Imperial Seal, but that's still fine. Spell Pierce is also good. But I don't mind having multiple tutors in my reanimate deck. Let's see. Bitter Triumph is solid. Cut down concealing curtains. Don't really think it's an echo deck. We couldn't tomb for it, which is funny, but not really a thing. Uh breach. Really happening. Bitter Triumph is just another good card. But we have a lot of creature removal, it feels like, so I think. Uh yeah, I'll take Ceiling Curtains. I could take the Mana Confluence, but I don't, I don't really want to pay more life. We have a couple of things that pay life already. Uh, eh. This isn't the most exciting. It's really between Triumph and Curtains, I guess. I think we have enough creature removal. I'll just take the Curtains. It's fine. I'm not excited about that pick. And really haven't seen a single blue black land or draft. Kind of rough. Uh, Turok's pretty good. It's a little tough on the mana, especially since, like I mentioned, we don't have any duels other than, I guess, Delta. So, might be a little difficult to cast that, but it's powerful. Ledger Shredder is also not bad. Diving and stuff is good. Overgrown 2, not really looking like I'm doing anything with black cards. I could take Godless Shrine for, like, Tight Hollow Scholar and Oust. But... Eh. I could just take Consider, find half cantrips, especially with these multiple top deck tutors. This becomes a little bit more exciting. I think I might actually do that. Okay, there's a Gristle Brand. That's really, really huge. We're going to want it. Wheeling Urberg would be sick, uh, but yeah, it's unfortunate about Sneak also. But I mean, we need a second target pretty badly, so I'm happy to take that one. All right, here we have Mystical Tutor. Xander's Lounge is probably just the pick, though. It is tapped, but it is a dual land that I can search for with the Delta and the Troll. That seems pretty important. Uh, this gets card, investigate. It's fine. Not really what we're doing. Spell Seekings, whatever. Draxor, Grave Titan. Yeah, no. Mystical Tutor would be fine, but yeah, I'll take a Xander's Lounge pretty happily, I think. What do you have here? This Zav. It's okay. It's not really the most exciting. Ford Arcanist is red, so it's kind of hard to cast. Center Sorcery. I, mean, I have a couple of ones I could cast with it, but it's not even that good. The top two cards, we choose one and play, and then it has an Earth. I think I'll just take. I guess I'll take Lazav. I don't know. Not really. Psyched to play those. Uh, the Grist, I would be excited to play if we could squeeze it in here. Currently, I have no fixing for it, so I would need to wheel some kind of fixing. I could take Pentad Prism, but again, this deck doesn't really look like it needs that kind of ramp. So I'll take the Grist and we'll see if we get there. All right, the Malcolm Wield, I think I'll take that over the Harvester, which is like a little mini Wrath. Uh, Thought Scour is pretty good as well. No draw, though. It doesn't work with the top deck too. Well, I guess you can target them, so it's fine. I, I do like Malcolm in general, so play that card. 
Okay, there's the Gorio's Vengeance. There's also a Fire Covenant and Expressive Iteration, both really good cards. We do have the Xander's Lounge for the Red Splash. Survive Trial, not too exciting. Gorio's Vengeance only works with Gristlebrand. I guess it kind of works with Grist. Hmm. I'm going to take Fire Covenant. Close, though. Let's cut down Mana Confluence. I guess now I might need the Mana Confluence. I'm trying to splash some red stuff. And Cut Down doesn't seem that necessary. I guess this also helps with Grist, potentially, though. Grist off of one source isn't really happening, so. Uh, I mean, I'll take the Turok over Season Pyro. Season Pyro would be the better card, but Double Red's pretty unreachable here. Nice, things are all relevant. All right, it doesn't look like we wield anything nice, unfortunately. So yeah, I don't think we made it there on the Grist. Uh, we'll get this Mind's Desire out of here. We're on what? 31 cards with effectively five lands. So we do have to make some cuts. Probably means I don't need to worry about playing Fire Covenant and stuff. We already have to make cuts. We already have a Wrath. I don't really worry about that too much. Probably end up cutting this Turok, though. My, I mean, man, it did get better with uh, Xander's Lounge here. So. We'll have to see about that. All right, everything's tiny. Oh, what? Mess with some of these card sizes just a bit. All right, so I think the Mana Confluence can probably come out, to be honest. Then we're counting trolls of land, so this is effectively four lands, which means 26 cards. So I gotta, I gotta make about three cuts. Uh, let me see here. We got our big guys. Okay, we got a bit of creature removal. Let's kind of put it all over here. Uh, we got Toxic Deluge. Brazen Borrower is not creature removal, but is interaction. So... Turok is definitely something I could see being on the chopping block. Um, Graveyard Trespasser is just kind of a generic card, and this as well. Jace I think I like enough. Granic Search is good, Malcolm's good, all the counters are good. Jace I want to try. Just drawing and discarding seems fine, and then we can maybe cast some of our other cards for, on the cheap. It'd be good. Obviously, you know all the reanimates. I want all of the Imperial Seal and Tomb stuff. Concealing Curtains isn't like necessary, but it's kind of nice. I like the Cantrips. The Inquisition's good. I guess Brazen Borrower is like not 100% necessary, but since we have a decent amount of other ways to deal with creatures, uh, I do like having to deal with a non creature as well. So, how castable is Turox? It is a really good card if you can cast it. But I am trying to play multiple double blue cards, which makes me think Turok might have to get out of here. Our mana just didn't get there. Uh, graveyard Trespasser I'm also like not excited about, unless there's a reason to mess with their graveyard. I will keep the Borrower, and then so it's between these two. Metamorph doesn't have a ton of stuff to copy in my deck. Like, all of my creatures are legends, or so big that I'm winning the game anyway, so... Maybe I'll bring this in when there are good targets. Otherwise, we'll just play with this. Uh, let's add some lands. Let's see. 175. That's probably wrong. Like I mentioned, we have some early double blue that we care about. We don't actually have any double black other than like persistence at the end. So we don't need to go that crazy on the black sources. Uh, what happens if we flip this? Uh, everything here is a dual source except the Mox Sapphire, right? Also, this is, wait, setting 12 lands. Is that accurate? No, we get one more, so. Uh, so this would be 10, 11, blue, 9, black. That doesn't sound wrong, honestly. Like, yes, we have some tutors and stuff in black, but 9's plenty to get a single black going, so I think... I think this looks fine. 15 lands, but we have Troll plus Mox. We have these two really good targets and Trolls is sometimes target. Yeah, I think this is deck. Uh, I will take a screenshot and I'll see you in match number one. Alrighty, we've been paired. I actually... Alright, here we go. I had to mess with some more settings there.
disposal. This this is just ridiculous. I would like to play first. That is true. I'd like my cards to be less tiny. Uh, that said, this hand looks amazing, so we'll keep it. Let's go ahead and close out of chat here. No need to see that. Uh, well, I guess I gotta have the game log. Fine, I'll have this guy here. All right, let's make our cards touch bigger so we can see them. I might not have room for this card preview. We'll try to keep it up here for now. We'll see how that goes. All right, well, we're obviously gonna lead on Swamp, then pass the turn, and then Tomb in the end step here. Uh, it is an interesting question of what to entomb for. I'm guessing Gristlebrand's better. I guess it depends if I want a death or a shallow grave, right? Uh, it, it's close. It really is. I think it's going to be Gristlebrand, but then I, I'm still not sure if I'd rather shallow grave it or death it. Maybe I try to shallow grave that one and death the other one later. Maybe that's that's the way to do it. Crystal brand. Shallow grave. Oh, my opponent just conceded. All right. Well, that makes it easier. All we know about them is they have a Xander's Lounge, so probably won't be doing any sideboarding. Yeah, I mean, they're probably more likely to be a control deck. I could... Take out some of my creature removal, but that seems seems a little premature. So let's just run it back and see what we do. All right, here we go for game number two. This hand's slow. Going seal into vampiric tutor into stuff is like not not exactly where I want to be at, but I will keep it. We can play the curtain on one maybe, and then fetch our tap land and kind of figure it out from there. Uh, island, that's fine. Yeah, let's lead on Curtain. Then I'll probably fetch my wool here. Although, it, maybe it doesn't even really matter since I drew the island, so. We'll see, we'll see. And it's on double blue into Time Walk, okay. Time Walk with no board or anything isn't really that bad. Obviously, it's a powerful card and everything, but too scared of it, especially if they're not doing anything afterwards. Uh, I, mean, I guess keeping up Brazen Borrower has some value, so maybe let's just go Island here. And I might Vampiric Tutor for an Entomb here, perhaps? Uh, is there anything better to Vamp? Let's take a look. Uh, I could grab a frantic search. That might be better than a tomb. Uh, I grab an inquisition if I wanted. I could grab a mana drain. Honestly, that kind of seems fine as well. It obviously puts me down cards, but although if I'm flipping this, that maybe isn't quite as necessary. Yeah, let me vamp for frantic search. Then I can set up an imperial seal frantic search thing later. Uh, we're on search. Grab you. And we'll go ahead and flip the curtains here. Let's see what our opponent's playing with. Okay, spell pierce is good to know about. The sea truck, a faithful sleeping up salt model with a snapcaster. Okay, I might have to take that one just because of the time walk. And the spell pierce, honestly. Uh, the Seed Shark seems pretty beatable. Yeah, let's just take Snappy. I can't Snap Time Walk me later. And tack. Now, if they tap out at some point, we can go Imperial Seal, Frantic Surge, and get our Gristle Brand reanimated, which seems pretty good. But they have to fully tap out. We know they have Spell Pierce, so... Fine. Have all that. 
see what the discard that could matter as well here. I might discard the spell beers now that I know about it. It's definitely less powerful, though. Uh, well, it still seems like it's good against me. Okay, discard an echo. That makes sense. Are you just going to do the echo? That's fine. Just sort of undo my... Uh... Oh, well... Yeah, I still end up with Frantic Search in hand and Imperial Seal, so that seems completely fine. Let's draw. Fatal Push not looking too strong, but that's fine. Can I Inquisition and do the other stuff? Kind of, but I have to Inquisition after. Doesn't seem as good, but probably still fine. Yeah, let's just uh, animate a gristle brand here, I guess. It will cost me a lot of life, so it's going to be tough to draw cards after. But I think that's okay. Uh, do I need to fetch a black land? Let's see, an imperial seal. Yeah, maybe I do have to hit the other thing just because... My life total is going to get really low if I imperial seal and death. It's a little bit scary. Well, maybe that's a coward's way, but I think I'll do it that way anyway. Uh, so seal, sealing for a big thing, then frantic searching. Yeah, it's, or no, because I have to cast this. So I do need an extra swamp. So let's go delta. I'll just fetch a basic swamp. Imperial seal. Grab myself an Archon. I don't know, this is kind of the coward's play, but I think it's correct. So let's go. Archon. Frantic search. Discard Archon. And I'm guessing Deluge won't be necessary. That. It's fine. We'll untap our swamps island position my opponent magma opus they can cast mystic Con oh, mystic confluence is i guess annoying but that's all right i think this is still worth doing even though the mystic confluence is obviously bad it'll get me some life back it'll hurt them card go ahead and attack I mean yeah they can bounce both these creatures but that takes up their whole turn I get to recast the eye and flip it if I want or I just cast Jace though obviously well, letting me uh draw here seems kind of insane but pass Bounce everything. Oh, they're not bouncing the revealing eye. Okay. They get to attack with it, which is fine. Now I'll probably probe for life. Oh, Vampiric Tutor is not bad. Uh, you draw a snap as well. Okay. It's mildly annoying also. But it's fine. Let's go. Jace. In storm with Jace. Malcolm's not bad. Can't really do much other than Vamp here, I guess. So. Um, I guess Vamp shuffles. So that's kind of nice. Doesn't look like I'll need Fatal Push for anything. Virtue could be nice later. So. Get rid of Fatal Push in an island. Play a swamp and then I'll vamp and step here. I don't know what I'm gonna vamp for, to be honest, but we'll figure it out. Because if they get up to enough mana, I'm also slightly worried about the magma opus. How much damage does that thing do? It's like four. Four damage light as you choose, you tap some stuff, you make they had the three. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I might have to uptick Jace. They can't just kill it. Maybe I don't vamp here. 
and I have six. They have snap up, which is annoying. Uh, is there more hand interaction I have? I could get rid of that magma opus. That would be nice. The, I guess I could tutor for a big counter like mana drain. That might be good. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Okay. Mana drain. Draw. Play a land. I guess now I can. Well, I shouldn't have played the land if I'm going to do this, but that's fine. Maybe I'll just plus it anyway, honestly. Just. They're up to over there. Ledger Shredder. That's probably fine. I guess it blocks. Eh. I'll put it on the bottom. I don't know. Kind of close. We're the one with the Jason play. I'm about to play a Malcolm as well. Which one? They play the Magma Opus. We'll mana drain it. We don't. We'll just get a Malcolm into play, and that's all fine. If we do go to a game three. I definitely need to make some sideboarding options. The rest of this event's actually pretty annoying here, but. Malcolm. I mean, they can snap it if they want, but really matter. Oh, Borrower's not, not bad. I guess it can't hit land, but it's fine. Uh, let's pack here. Forest counter. Oh, there's Shallow Grave. Okay. As uh, discards, right? Yeah. I guess I'll discard Archon. I can Shallow Grave it at some point for a big chunk of damage, which is cool. And then let's just do this again. It's fine. Spell Pierce. Uh, I'll not be. I think. Here comes. Maybe. Got my two lands deal damage there, deal some damage to me. I will manage drain that, obviously. And let's see what they what else they've got. They still have the snap, but all right. I could shallow grave when they activate this. Probably not correct. Oh, they're not gonna attack with their restless this thing. Okay, okay. The flashback to magma opus or something. Uh it's definitely some ways to do that. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, that's annoying, but it should be fine, I think. This is still looking pretty good here. You don't know about the spell pierce. That's something I have to definitely pay attention to. I guess this can't bounce my own stuff, right? Not a good point. Yes, yeah, so I can't bounce the Malcolm here, unfortunately. Uh, I don't want to bounce the token. I suppose I might as well. Let's flood this mana. Damage. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't... Uh... I guess they have another spell to cast. Seems like attacking with vents would be pretty strong here. 
what it is. All right, petty theft on this token. We do get a ton of mana this turn, which is interesting. Snap's sort of annoying, but it is. Shallowgrave top card? No, that I guess makes it a little bit worse, huh? So we'll get Malcolm back if we do that. Oh, they're discarding the spell pierce. Okay, that's fine with me. And two. Talisman, sure. Have a talisman. That is acceptable. Let's draw other Jace. We don't have mana, it's all colorless. What is this? Draw then discard. Uh okay. That's mostly what it does here. Let's brainstorm with Jace. I definitely need some more stuff here. Okay, there's a tomb. We did keep up snap, so that's a thing, I guess. Fatal push is good for the restless vents. Want that. Probably want to cast virtue this turn. This thing work. Leave your upkeep, put a creature, and you, it just puts it into place. So they snap it, it's whatever. But I don't want to put that one back. We probably put a swamp back. Not too much, though. Indian tomb is nice. Uh, if I have the swamp, I well, I can't do shallow grave and tomb virtue and keep up fatal push, and I do want to keep up fatal push, so it means I think I'll just do virtue plus fatal push this turn. Well, I do want to play the Jace also. It means I have to discard a card. But I want to discard, I guess, the Swamp. Okay, so I'll put the Shallow Grave and the Entomb on top. I'll draw the Shallow Grave, discard the Swamp, I guess. That's fine. All right, let's play this. Two. Five. Opponents reading. Because they have a counter for this, I would have rather had the uh, Shallow Grave available this turn, but that's what it is. Maybe it's better to play Brazen Borrower instead of the Jace. Just having a three power flyer in play right now seems kind of relevant, honest. Like, yeah, they can bounce it, but then I get it back as a return thing, so that seems pretty nice as well. Yeah, that might just be the way to go, actually. Let's use a little bit as colorless mana, too. All right. Yeah, let's just cast this. I can play my swamp, which doesn't really accomplish much, but. All right. Still feeling okay. I mean, obviously we're at three, so if they have like a bolt or something, I'm just dead, but. Can kill the restless vent, which is nice. So unless they have just like direct damage, I feel okay. Event activation, that's fine. Combat will go fatal push it. What else they have? Flashback Faithless Looting. That's a good start for me, because now I have the Brazen Borrower attack, plus I can just bring the Archon in to Make them lose three life. Oh, they had a time walk. Okay, okay, that does stuff. Does stuff for sure. But without the vent, they don't have just lethal in play, so. 
Spell Bomb is annoying, but... So they have Spell Bomb plus Snap. They're just going to draw a card off the Spell Bomb. All right. Into Foundry. Okay. Still feel okay about all this. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to get Archon here. Getting to draw here and gaining the life and draining their life. All right, they had enough. They maybe had a chance there. The Retrofitter could have done some blocking, but yeah, it was definitely an uphill battle. All right, well, we're on one else, so I'll see you for match number two. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're in here for match number two. We're on the draw. This hand looks good. I'll keep it. We can cycle the troll for our dual land and then maybe tutor for reanimate or something. Got two on. Maybe I'll just kill that on turn one instead. We also Inquisition, I guess, take a hit, but then they like get a free token. So I right, just go ahead and kill that. Okay, Island's a fine draw. Just kill that now. See a ton of reason to wait. Now we'll probably go Inquisition plus something. A wire might. Sure. That is fine. Oh, Probe is pretty good. I don't know if I need to cast it right this second. I do want to cast Inquisition right now, so... I, mean, I guess Probe would tell me if the Inquisition is going to hit or not. But it is also nice to have Tutor plus Probe as just an option. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if this Inquisition's not hitting, then yeah, it kind of wasted it, but, but it doesn't really matter. Let's do that. Okay. Well, we're probably thinking Lelia, because that's a lot of scary stuff, but I think that's slightly scarier than the Evangelist. Let's kill the Lelia, and then... Uh... Feels like reanimating troll is not going to be very good against this opponent, to be totally honest. So I think I will play my island and cycle troll here. Let's see if they draw a third land. Looks like maybe not. It's good for us for sure. I play the Samwise, and they have something else here. A cycling timeless dragon. Okay, it's fine. The next turn, they get the Evangelist into play if they want. Cycle this. Go ahead and just pick up the lounge here. I don't know if that's really necessary, but. Oh, yeah, there's Shallow Grave. That's pretty nice. I think I will do the play now then. We'll go ahead and grab our Archon, make them discard two cards, and do a bunch of good things. So let's go Swamp, Eric Tutor. Uh, make sure this works. I'm going to Tutor for an Entomb. Wait, I don't have enough mana for all this. Cancel. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough mana for everything. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I messed up slightly. That's all right. It will still be fine next turn, but... Should have played Xander's Lounge, obviously, if I'm not going to do these things. I just thought I had enough mana. I don't, it turns out. It's Tutor and Tomb. Yeah, I'm just one mana short. Uh... I guess I can still do the Entomb part of it now. And it saves me life off of the Cataxian Probe. That seems fine. Yeah. Tutor. Tomb. Play this for mana. It's after. 
I imagine they're playing the Evangelist here. Maybe if they draw land, they'll play the Dragon. That would be nice, but... So here they do get to just sack the bats to my pack, but that's okay. It's still good. Damage. Go ahead and tomb myself. Archon. Okay, let's shallow grave. I guess I leave the island up because I might be able to get that going. I draw land here. Could still lose this, honestly. This, this Sanguine Evangelist is pretty good against this, but I do get to draw two cards and make them discard two cards, which is not bad. Plus reduce some of their board presence, at least. Fine. That. Sorry, sure. Go ahead and attack. Again. Let's see back up to 22 and our opponent down to 11. I don't know if they plan to chump this Archon or not, but fine either way. So it effectively traded for the entire Sanguine Evangelist and made them discard two cards and drew me two cards. That seemed like a pretty good deal. Let's go ahead and play Island, then we'll play Malcolm here. The Archon is unfortunately gone for good, which is a little rough, but should be fine. Let's see what they have here. Uh, flying Haste. When you cast a non-creature spell, it gets plus two plus so. End of turn. Sure. Don't expect them to cast too many spells, to be honest. Take our two, play our Malcolm here. Let's see what we got. Oh, Virtue's not bad. Virtue's not bad at all. I have to consider if I want to cycle or play the Xander's Lounge. I mean, for now, let's just stack with Malcolm, see what we draw. I don't think I want an Imperial Seal for anything in particular right now. I could have Imperial Seal and then drawn it with Malcolm, and that wouldn't have been good. But I think the Virtue is just fine. Oh, Mana Drain will keep. Uh, I guess I just discard the Lounge at this point, because the Seal still could be good, and I obviously want the Mana Drain. Bone Shards could end up being good later, so... That's all fine. Kill this thing. All right. I mean, this is a slow way to go about things, but I feel quite safe. Got a mana drain, so what can my opponent do? I guess they can play their big dragon, but I'll just kill it. That's fine. Okay, nothing is fine also. Attack. Like we will just slowly kill them with Malcolm. Yield. Oh, there's Gristlebrand. All right. I will discard a Gristlebrand and then try to reanimate it at some point. Uh, I'll play a Swamp. That's fine. I'll just pass here. Maybe I could have kept the Swamp as discard fodder for the Bone Shards, but I can discard this Imperial Seal if I really need to. Guardian Scale Lord. Whenever this creature attacks, we return non land permanent. I cause the value. Oh, so let's just be able to train it. It's fine. All right. Because then I would have gotten to play Virtue off of that and everything. All right. So we're playing against Boros Aggro, though they have a couple of big hitters with this and the Othari. Still, though, additional uh, creature removal. Fire Covenant could be interesting here. Uh, I guess maybe Kyle's Kite Sail Larcenist, maybe Metamorph, probably not Metamorph, to be honest. So for red, I do only have the Xander's Lounge, which I do, I can fetch with in two different ways. I also have the Mana Confluence here. We got some stuff hiding out over here, but I don't think it's going to help much. It's probably not right to put in Mana Confluence against an aggro deck, even though it'll let me cast my red spells a bit easier, so... 
on the gun do that, but man, Fire Coven's a really good card. I think I'm going to try it. I have some ways to discard it if it doesn't work out also. What feels weak here? This Jace that can't defend itself doesn't seem amazing. And do I want the Larcenist? Kind of. I just don't know what I would cut for it. To be honest, that's really the issue. Maybe Brazen Borrower is not incredible, but do you have some five drops? It's pretty good against that. I see one all the counters. Jace, I think, is still necessary just because if these things get dealt with, we kind of need another avenue to win. So I'm going to try it like this. We'll see if that's good enough. All right, on the draw once again here. All right, I mean, it's hard to argue with a Fatal Push to Toxic Deluge Hand, even if I can't necessarily get this Gristle Brand going right away. So happy enough to keep this. And we'll eventually find a way to get Gristle Brand going. Our opponent kept seven. I don't know, they mulliganed us. Fine. If they play a one drop, I probably fatal push it. I don't think I can wait for Toxic Deluge. Maybe if it's like a one one that doesn't do much, maybe then I could try to hold out. But otherwise, uh, I just don't want to take too much damage. Especially since Vampiric Tutor is a painful card, and then we might have to reanimate this Gristle Brand for eight life at some point. Okay, Mox Jet's a potentially scary start. Mox Jet into Mana Vault. Wow, okay, they're going big right away. No plays, though. This isn't exactly Othari Mana, which is nice. Uh, they want a Xander's Lounge first. I'm not likely to be able to Fatal Push anything they play anyway, so it's probably fine just to get this going. Let's see what they're doing with all this big mana. Oh, they have some kind of tutor here. Oh, cycle Oliphant. Okay, okay. I could try to reanimate the Oliphant. Or actually, no, I think Death only hits your own graveyard. So never mind. Plateau, it's fine. All right. Okay, what you got? You got lots of mana. Ah, lately. Okay, okay. Don't love this, obviously. What it is, Jetmere's Garden, they at least get cast. Can't really fatal push it unless I draw fetch land or something. Could bone shard it, and that feels actually like a pretty good way to go, because I could tutor for a reanimate. So let's do that actually. Let's go swamp, bone shards by discarding. Discard crystal brand. So that fatal push if they play something tiny if they play a lot of things or something big we have toxic deluge to clean up so feels okay we use yield to the mana vault so we'll see ideally you get to just tutor for the reanimate here or fast reanimate obviously but this feels like it's probably gonna be Othari. yep can't kill that with push but i can't toxic deluge it which is fine I think I still tutor here. I'm gonna want to do it sooner or later anyway. Yeah, I think that's right. And it kind of disguises it, makes it look like I look got the deluge, maybe. Shallow grave. Draw the shallow grave. Play a land, play deluge. Their stuff here. Hope they don't have a pump spell or anything weird. Pass. And we hope a shallow grave gristle brand gets us out of this. We have two cards. We could have another five drop conceivably this turn. That would be kind of scary. They have nothing though. That's pretty good. 
Okay, Mox isn't bad. Uh, I guess I might as well play it. There's not any reason to hold it back. Do I want to play the island right away? I guess I don't need to. All right, and we have to have removal here. That kind of sucks because I can't use the Gristle Brand, but don't really can't really sit there and do nothing. So pack, and if this works, I'll draw seven. All right, well, we got miscalcs, not the best, but it's okay. Got a fatal push, a probe. Uh, I guess this is just Malcolm slash miscalcs, so I can get taxing probe here for mana. That doesn't hurt anything. I guess I'll do so. Might as well see what's coming up. There's a tomb. Okay, that's fine. I have a dragon and a Cathar commando. Ah, so the commando's coming. Okay, well, now I wish I had the extra mana, but that's fine. All right, a little pass here. I can't really reanimate my other target now, which is awkward. So, some tomb is not the best anymore. It's fine. Next commando. And just kill that with Fatal Push. Cycling that. Okay, that's probably okay for me. All right, I have to discard. Um, let's discard an island, I guess. It's fine. damage. They're going to probably bring back the dragon here. I'm going to need to find a way to kill that. So I'm going to have to do with Imperial Seal somehow. This thing. I do think it's important to save the life here. Especially looking to use Imperial Seal and whatnot. And blow up their mana vault, I assume. Oh no, I forgot I had that. That's fine. Mana's not really a huge problem here, so it's fine. Ah, and Sam wants to get it back. All right, all right, they're doing things. Hmm. They are going to wait, luckily, which means I get to miscalc that one. So Tomb's not really doing much for me. I mean, if I entomb and I'll be down to five after I Imperial Seal, is there anything I could reanimate that does anything here? I just don't have very many creatures, so I think the answer is no. I think death is just kind of dead here. That's fine, though. Um, Yeah, we'll... Miscalc that thing and play Malcolm and something out. I don't think I want to block the Samwise. I'd rather have the Malcolm attacking. Although I guess if they're doing dragon things, then maybe that doesn't really do anything for me anyway. I don't know. Two. Yeah, I probably should have Imperial Sealed. Didn't really think that through. So now they're going to bring back the dragon. I don't have a way to kill it. And having to chump with Malcolm here. Let's play the Malcolm. Do I want to entomb? I don't think that helps me in any way, so let's just not. Okay, frantic search is a way to do things. So I have a removal for the dragon. So don't want to go to three life all that much, to be honest. But let's see what we have. Oh, I could get Jason bounce it. That's not a bad way to go, because now I'll have a Jason play and I can just keep the other thing to block. Uh the bone shards is gone, so I can't use that. I guess I can get a brazen borrower also, but I think Jason's gonna be better, so 
Let's go Imperial Seal for Jace. This Fire Covenant costs too much life. Archon I can't cast, obviously. Let's grab a Jace. Frantic Search. I think I'll discard this in Tomb, and probably Delta at this point doesn't really do much for me. Fine, untap one, three. We'll play another land and then go chase four. And we have to hope they don't have removal from Malcolm, but that's that crazy of an ask. And we'll try to win off Jace. That goes. So getting up there in mana, I might be able to just cast my arc on at some point. All right. On no removal one time. I don't think that's expensive. Probably bad for me. Oof. Okay, how's this work again? Non-land permit. We get to return like Thar Commando or Lelia or something. We get to block this still, which is not nothing. Is he scary? It's Lelia. Lock. Okay, well, they have two lethal threats in play. I don't love that. I guess I have to just draw three and hope we hit something. Those are pretty atrocious. Uh, return, lose life. Okay, so I can technically block both if I death here. Death my Malcolm. Anything else to death that makes any sense? All right, well, that's what I'm going to do. Not, you know, a good play, but certainly a play. Hitting Guardian Scale Lord there was certainly not bad. I suppose I may as well flip the curtains. Makes the ground a little bit stronger here. All right, pass the turn. It's gonna be a tough deal with that Scale Lord. I don't actually have a good answer to it. We'll see what happens. Can they not rip a sick top deck one time? Okay, looks like they didn't. Good. Commit to Lelia. I imagine no, but hard to say. Oh, they will, okay. Oh, right, they get the Guardian Scale Lord again. Ease. Forgot that's a thing that it does just permanently. Yeah, that's not good. How is this pilgrim? It's fine. Well, I mean, I have to block. These are first. Get to keep the revealing eye around. It's something. Yeah, uh, I basically need to hit land plus Archon off the Jay's Brainstorm, which is possible, but the likeliest thing of all time. Virtue. Virtue is unfortunately too slow, I think. Gain two life puts me at three. Then, yeah, I just died with the flyer, and obviously that doesn't work till upkeep. All right, we lost this one. Come on to game three here. Don't think there's anything in my sideboard that makes a ton of sense. Maybe a trespasser is like okay. Dog will. I mean, that makes a ton of sense. The Larcenist. They really didn't have many answers, which makes Larcenist a little bit interesting. Well, I cut for it. 
It looked bad. I mean, death looked bad, but only because of the way that game worked out. The seals are still solid. All the cantrips are good. Yeah, I just don't think I want to cut anything. So let's run it back. Down the plate. Okay, we have a shallow grave, a frantic search. This looks fine. Deep. I get to even have my red mana for fire covenant here. Go ahead and lead on the delta. Try to get that red mana and hope we can blow them up with fire covenant. Hopefully I don't randomly have a wasteland or something. Taking their sweet time on turn one here. Multiple one drops, different lands, who knows. Mother of Ruins, well, we'll be killing that one for sure. Let's go ahead and grab my land here. Definitely be fatal pushing the mom here. Oh, we have more. All right. Mana Vault, all right. Mana Vault's scary. Their mana's strange, to say the least. Uh, this looks pretty nice, though. Let's go... Swamp, Fatal Push, and then Imperial Seal for one of my fatties so I can frame search. Into Shallow Grave. I imagine the Archon's going to be better in this spot. At Pass. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. I already have the fire coming to kind of kill stuff, but they like Othari here or something. Just a pretty nice way to deal with things. God for us. All right. Just for the pause there. Uh, they apparently played Ajite and then played this guy and. Sure. That's not really that big of a deal, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, I'll just implement my plan. It gets rid of their last two cards, so it feels pretty good. GT might be slightly annoying to deal with, but whatever. Uh, all right, so we'll definitely get rid of Archon for obvious reasons. And then I guess one of these Wraths. I suppose Firecom is just worse than Deluge, so. Let's do that. Anyway, it's fine. Untap lands. This. Hit my opponent for a nice 12 damage. some cards, make them discard some cards. It feels like even though we don't have anything immediate, it's still going to be pretty winnable here. Glad to get rid of a gut. That's a scary one for sure. All right, that's fine. Have some removal in my hand and we'll eventually get to just cast this Virtue of Persistence. It'll be a few turns, but I think we have time. Our opponent's not on too much mana either. Oh, Brazen Barber on the GTA is kind of interesting. Uh, swamp, pass. Yeah, I guess I probably will end up bouncing the GTA here. Just so I can then play the Borrower without having to worry about the counters, killing it. Nothing. All right. Left on that. Need some life here, and that's fine. Come on, opponent. Not a lot of options here. Yep. Back to ten. My borrower at some point. Island and 
I'll just play an end of turn borrower. For two land drops away from just casting this virtue of persistence. It's totally fine. It's not keeping my auto yields to that. Must have something to screw it up. Angelus, sure. It does make the borrower worse, I suppose. I just want to deluge this. It's like a little embarrassing, but. Be worth it. There's Malcolm as well. I could clean the whole thing up with both. It's not crazy. To be honest. Let's get rid of both of my removal spells, but if I draw land, I get to slam virtue and just win. If I draw spells, I draw spells. I think it's fine. If, no, not that one. Lockweed Scorn on the Evangelist. Two. And then, I guess I don't have to Deluge yet. But, like, the two bads don't matter that much, but I think I still just will. All right. Also stops GTA from doing anything. It's like we're in pretty good shape. All right. So yeah, four drop. Now we're just casting GTA, which doesn't scare me too much. All right. Well, play this virtue and hope they can't destroy it, I guess. I don't actually have anything good in my graveyard to reanimate, but even grabbing stuff like the Evangelist and Gut is going to be good enough. So it's fine. All right. Just grab the Evangelist. Well, actually, no, I just want to get all my creatures in place. So I'm going to hold on to the blue mana here. And yeah, this should pretty much kill them, so. Feels like we're on to the finals. Unless something really unexpected happens. I don't know what they could pull out here. They're with 21. They're going to tap mana vault. That's... Hmm. I don't know what this is, but I imagine it's going to prompt a concession. It's like they either meant to have the mana vault or just thought they were in their main phase. All right, well, we're on to the finals. Wish me luck. I'll see you there. All righty, welcome back for the finals. Here we are. We are unfortunately on the draw, but this hand looks pretty decent. We get to cycle our troll, then play Inquisition or Fatal Push, have a scalp. It's all seem like good things, so keep. It is unfortunate we don't get the Inquisition on turn one, but that's what it is. Sand I can mulligan. Okay. Turn one mountain lotus petals. A little scary. Island and pass. Go ahead and we'll just get a basic swamp here. I do want to be able to do stuff on turn two. Fail land. Well, it looks like it's not an aggro deck, probably. So it's good, I guess. I don't know. Cycle this. Swamp. Hopefully we draw more lands. We'll see. Ceiling curtain. Not really what I'm looking for. So I can either try to keep up miscalc or just inquisition them. It feels like firing off the inquisition earlier rather than later is good. And I wouldn't mind surveilling off the consider as well. So I think I'll just do this now. You want to counter me with a lotus petal then like okay i have a mastermind that i can kill so that's fine. oh interesting so they are a slightly more aggressive deck then huh well flame slash doesn't matter at all i mean i didn't kill my concealing but like whatever 
I'll just take the Bone Crusher, try to deal with their threats. They have a bunch of removal in hand, plus the Mastermind play. That's all fine. This is when you draw your second card. Yeah, so we can still go ahead and consider on their turn. That's fine. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. I mean, I get to kill the Mastermind pretty freely and go from there. Let me consider Xander's Lounge. It's a land. Yeah, I think I have to keep it on top. Moment. All right, here we go. Let's see. We drew a basic. So I could Fatal Push now. Still have miscalc up. I think that's worth it. I can cycle this lounge maybe even at some point. Let's make sure they can't like use this at some point. So I think it's worth it. Pass. This curtains, I'm probably just never going to play because it just gives them targets for all the removal. Iridain, well, I can't counter that. So that's fine. With two top zero bottom, it's scary, all right. Draw okay, there's a death. Could reanimate the troll, but again, that kind of gives him targets. I think I'll end up playing the lounge. I'm gonna hold on to this frantic search for now. There's not a rush to do this yet, and I would like to reanimate one of my big things with it, ideally. So we have some stuff I wouldn't mind discarding though. So if we don't draw any action for a while and they do scary things. Uh, that I'd rather didn't do. All right. Another land, huh? I, mean, I could play and flip curtains here. It's not a disaster to do that. We know they kept two on top, though, so they have another good card coming, which is, like, somewhat annoying. I think I will frantic search. Well, I don't know. Without a target, maybe that's not good. If I do the curtains play, am I keeping the land in hand for a frantic search later? I might. I don't really need a fifth man all that much. All right, let's do this. I don't love it, but... What it is. Not really that scared of an FDK. Phantom Interference. Create a knight, counter a spell. Plus four to make the knight. Two two with flying. That's not really much. And for two mana, it's a miscalc. That doesn't worry me too much either. I guess I'll just take the flame tongue. Make them use the flame slash, I suppose. Could just take nothing. You do get to draw a card. I only have this one target that four damage does anything to. So if they want to use a flame tongue and keep their flame slash for later, who cares? Yeah, I'm just gonna let them have this. It's fine. Pass. We have a we have a land. They are opting for the flame slash, which is actually good for me because that means I have to deal with an FTK. I guess it means they get to keep their uh, counter up, but yeah, this doesn't matter that much. I get to do it this way. They have FTK, Kozilek, and Phantom Interference in play, and this is. Counter spell unless I pay two. So if I go land, I can death this Archon. Three. It's 
still hurt a bit, but fine. All right, we'll definitely discard the Archon, and then I want to discard Deluge, Vampiric, Bone Shards. Um, I mean, Vampiric's definitely worth keeping around. So it's one of these two. I guess I can get rid of Bone Shards, maybe. is fine that and death archon and if they have a removal spell for it i can fan for the other reanimate but they're just going to concede very good let's look at our sideboard here so this deck that i'm playing against is a little interesting it's kind of i guess a Tempo deck is what you would probably call it. They have a bunch of creatures, so stuff like Fire Coven is kind of interesting. Metamorph is a maybe as well. It's very good against FDK. They also have a bunch of removal, so I guess I don't really want to bring in extra creatures of my own. In fact, it almost makes me want to cut this curtain. I think the Malcolm's good enough because the Flash that I still will want to keep it, but. Curtains is like minorly awkward. I could see replacing that with something else. Turok could be fun. It seems like they're gonna keep cards in hand for a while. It does also die to removal, but it takes two cards in the way, so who cares? Yogwell's only good if I have a million mana and it's really late in the game, which could definitely happen in this matchup, but I don't think it's the most likely scenario. Yeah, let me cut curtains and, you know what, sure. Let's try Darok. I don't know, maybe this is crazy, but it's okay. All right, we got another one lander and no land cycler this time. I did have the probe, but I specifically need black mana to really get things going. So I think I can mulligan. I mean, I'm on the draw and I get a redraw with the probe. If I draw blue mana even, then still could do a lot of things yeah you know what i actually talked myself into keeping this we'll see if i regret that decision but seems fine probe plus uh miscalc and stuff is also nice i can kind of figure out what i need to do what i need to miscalc land 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 consider well consider is also not the worst I wonder if I should just do it now in case they have the counter and they might counter this. It's fine. No. It's not like they have discard in their blue red deck. That on top. All right, that looks pretty good. I mean, obviously, we still need black mana, but now we have Malcolm, we have miscalculation. These are all things that are useful. Next turn, I'll probably fire off the probe just to. Uh, see what I do need to miscalc, or potentially if I need a black mana for anything, this will be good to have. Okay, what are we pedaling out? Narsa. Okay. It's annoying, but other than turning off Gitaxian probes, not doing that much here. I guess it also makes Malcolm worse, but Malcolm can kill it, so it's kind of moot on that front. We got a Palantir. Okay, Palantir is an annoying one. I'll probably counter that with Miscalc or with Mana Drain. Mana Drain would give me three extra mana. What could I do with that? Not really a ton, I guess. So I'll probably just use Miscalc while I can and hold the Mana Drain for later. It's fine. Yeah, here, not being able to cast Probe is annoying, and they get to use their Narset again, but it's done after that, so... I I imagine I'll be able to kill it at some point with fires. Too worried about the Narset. But yeah, Plantier definitely can't hit the board, that's scary. 
want to counter that one. Looks like our opponent's AFK. All right, our opponent's back. We're still passing the turn. Mostly reminding myself, because it's not like any time passed for you here. And that's expected. So Narset was like a pretty good draw too, which is annoying. Sneak attack's a scary one for sure. Nice thing is if they just go, aha, I don't want to play into your counter spell, I get to Malcolm, so that's completely fine. If they have a counter of their own, then so be it, I guess. Let's go. All right. Don't love that. We'll make the Narset harder to eliminate, but it's okay. Let's see what is going on. All right, land, black land ideal. Okay, okay, blue delta is a good one. Uh, does that let me do anything particularly interesting? Not yet, but I will pass the turn here and then if they play into my counter, I'll counter something. If they don't, I'll probably just play Brazen Borrower as a 3 1 here. That feels fine. Land here. All right, we'll counter that one. I might not even fetch because I wouldn't mind drawing more lands, to be honest. So, I don't really have any reason to get my dual land. I have plenty of blue, I think. But I guess triple blue could be nice at some point as well. So, maybe I want to do that so I don't have to. Bunch of basic swamp. Yeah, all right. Given that I have manager in hand, extra blue might be useful. Still hoping to draw a land, though. And all right, we drew a swamp. That's fine. Uh. I'm strongly considering death on the Malcolm just so I can deal with this Narset and have a threat in play. Doesn't feel too bad, to be honest. I mean, I can't always Brazen Borrower if they don't make me use the Mana Drain, but this way I would kind of get to do both. It's close. I guess I'll hold on to it for now because I do have the Brazen Borrower option. It would obviously be nice to reanimate one of my big targets. So, this is a sneak. Yeah, we'll definitely counter that one. I think I just slam a face of virtue here. Not crazy to do that. Oh, Imperial Seal's not bad. Nice if I could draw, but it's fine. So I have eight mana here. Yeah, I mean, I think I just play Virtue, and I guess that's all I can really do, because otherwise I have blue mana, so I'll Brazen Borrower up as an option. Uh, actually, I won't even, because I'll be one minute short. That's fine, though. See what they can do against this. It's not that good yet, but I can seal them to Entomb at some point. That feels all right. Obviously, I can just get the Malcolm back over and over again, which is kind of fun. All right, what you got, opponent? So through the breach or something? Might still make sense. That's fine. That's not too concerning at the moment. Get ourselves a Malcolm. And our opponent conceded to that. I guess they couldn't handle a 2 1 flyer. All right. Not a bad outing for our first uh, cube. Both first in this iteration and first for me in a while. So uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out. 
But that'll do it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.